today I'll highlight how how much easier it is now than before to set up neuron following for your SNS neurons. And for that, I, I'm going to show you how to do that right on your phone. Okay, so here we're on the, on the neuron staking uh, page of the NNS tab, and I'm already logged in. And for the purpose of this demo, we have neurons in just one SNS project, uh, namely OpenChat. Uh, and here, if I if I navigate to the Open Chat neuron page, then I can see that I currently have two neurons, and um, I, I'm going to demo how I can start following the bottom neuron from my upper neuron. And for that purpose, I'm going to copy the ID of the bottom neuron and navigate to the top one. And then uh, here in this view, I I'm, I see that that there is some stake in this neuron and the fact that it's locked, which means it actually is able to vote. And the next section is voting delegation. So this is exactly what we're demoing today. And um, in order to set up uh, these delegations, I'm going to navigate to the following view. And here you can see part of the problem that we had in the old interface is that there has been a very long list of available proposals for a particular SNS. And this is because in addition to proposals that are common across all SNS projects, there's also the possibility of registering custom proposals in SNSs. And in OpenChat, for, for example, there has been a lot of different custom proposals. And this, this is quite a list. It's hard to keep up for users. You don't know when other proposals are being registered with an SNS and when you need to make further following decisions in order to maximize your floating rewards. And uh, for, for instance, here, if I wanted to still set up following for some of these proposal types, then I have to go one by one through each and every one of them and enter the neuron ID and then uh, confirm my intention of following that neuron on that particular proposal type. What's more is that now if we want to list the historically available proposals that occur in that SMS, then there's going to be a problem in terms of filtering and narrowing down the search. So if I now navigate to the voting page in NNS tab, then there is the open chat SNS and I go to the all proposals section and I see that here we have the filtering by individual proposal types. And again, there are going to be an, a difficulty in narrowing down the search. Uh, so this is something that we tremendously improved in, in the recent days by proposing another way of making voting decisions on the SNS. And this is what I'm going to show to you next. So for that, I'm going to, to another browser on my phone where I, I have the exact same uh, neurons from OpenChat that I, I'm able to manage, but using the new front end. So this is already available on the mainnet. And again, I have two neurons here and I'm able to set up following uh, for the bottom neuron from the upper one. So I'm copying the ID of the bottom one, navigating to the upper one. And then again, here, not, not much has changed. Again, I have to press follow neurons, but this time you can see that the list that opens up only contains seven boxes. And, and these are the proposal topics that we currently have. Um, and this means even if I wanted to follow on each and every proposal, then it would be enough to check all these seven boxes and nothing more and add the ID of the neuron that I want. That's it. And now we see that there are the green check marks, which indicate that I'm covering all of these topics. I'm following somebody, which means that I'm not missing out on voting rewards. Okay, and you might be asking the question, how does the user know which proposal types follow into which topics? And for that, uh, it's able we're, we're able to navigate to the view topics definition section, where again, we have the seven topics. And now if I collapse them, I can see the individual proposal types, which are right now registered in this SMS under these topics. So there is no confusion but I don't need to micromanage my following decisions based on the proposal types anymore. So for example, if in the future 
more proposals are going to be registered with this SNS, I, I'm not going to need to uh, track each and every one of them. This is really helpful, especially because delegating voting decisions is something that makes sense to do cautiously and pick the best experts in the field on a given topic and then follow them on the topic so that uh, their actual voting decisions correspond to your intentions, albeit indirectly. So last but not least, it is now much easier to navigate through the history of proposals, also because of the uh, proposal topics. So now if I go to the voting view in the new interface, and again, navigating to OpenChat SNS all proposals, you can see that now there's a filter based on the topics, which allows me to narrow down the search much more efficiently. For example, if I'm just interested in uh, treasury proposals, then there's one box that I need to hit. And then I can see that these are the treasury proposals that have been historically submitted to OpenChat. So that pretty much sums up the new interface for neuron following on the SNS. And I encourage you to check it out and see how you can maximize your voting rewards on ICP. Thank you.